All right. Finally, everyone, finally got my Thai motorcycle license and it was pretty hectic. So in this video, I am going to show you step by step on how you can get your motorcycle license here in Chiang Mai. So first and foremost, uh, if you do plan on staying in Chiang Mai or in Thailand for more than a month, and you plan on renting motorbikes to explore, I would highly recommend you to get your Thai motorcycle license because even if you have an international license, that's still not gonna work when you are stopped at a checkpoint. So it's best to just get one uh, if you are planning to stay here for more than a month or like up to at least three months or, or more. Without further ado, let's just go straight in to how to get your license. Okay, so first step, you do need to sign up for a driver's class. So for me, I signed up with uh, Chain Mice Driving School. I'll go ahead and put their website and their location in the description below if you guys are interested in taking that class. So sign up for a driver's class. And once you do that, they'll go ahead and tell you what you need to bring, which is health certificate. So basically go to any hospital, just let them know that, oh, you're here to get a medical certificate for a uh, Thai license and then they'll know what to do. It's just a, a basic health checkup. They check to see if you have any health problems. After that, pay the 100 baht for the medical certificate. Next, you do need a residence certificate, uh, which shows that you are living in Thailand. For this residence certificate, you do need to go to the Chiang Mai Immigration Office. Before you go to uh, complete your residence certificate, you do need to bring a copy of your, your passport, a copy of your departure card, your latest, um, visa stamp and i believe you also need a copy of your tm30 so once you get all these copies go ahead and go to the chain my immigration office on the second floor you're gonna sign an application i believe it's a 40 bot if you want to wait three to four weeks for your residence certificate but they do have an expedite service where you can get your residence certificate in about a day or two. Oh, don't forget you do also need a, a passport photo so like i said pay the 500 baht and then they'll tell you when to come back and pick it up. So the driving course consists of a two full days. So I took mine on Saturday and Sunday. It was always from eight to five. Uh, so first day, so the first four hours is mainly watching videos. You have an hour lunch. Once you get back, they'll go ahead and toss you back onto the computer to do some practice tests. These practice tests, I would say it's helpful in some ways and it's not helpful in some ways because once you submit that practice test, it doesn't show you what questions you got wrong. It doesn't give you the answers until it comes to the actual written test. So I would say the practice test is good for you to kind of have an idea of what's on the written test. Because I tell you, at least about 80% of those questions will be on the written test. Also, before you start taking your written test, I would highly recommend you just Google search Thai license test. Uh, most of those questions are like old, which is probably back in like 2019, 2020. Like most of those questions are actually the same that you'll be taking. If you're able to get yourself familiar with the questions and know the answers to it, it'll be a big help for you when it comes to the written test. So next off, second day, basically the whole morning from 8 to 11 or 8 to 12, you'll basically get your motorbike and then drive in a group around the whole parking lot area just to kind of get yourself familiar with the, the training grounds. So basically after the group uh, goes around the parking lot, you'll do individual that drives around the parking lot. They'll observe to see if you're able to drive. And then after that, they do have like a little platform that you have to try to balance on uh, with your motorbike for at least 10 seconds. I believe that was like one of the more difficult training. Uh, but the good thing about this school is that I don't think they time you. They like they'll just observe you to see if you're able to drive or if you can handle the bike. I'm not sure about any other driving school. I've heard of other driving schools like they actually timed you to, to see if you're able to maintain your balance on that platform for about at least 10 seconds. But other than that, so second day, so mainly just the driving test. And if you didn't pass your written test the first day, you'll get another chance to take uh, your written test again. So you only get one try though one try per day, I believe. Like I said, the passing grade is 45 out of 50. Once you pass the room test, they'll give you some paperwork and then they'll tell you, okay, you need to go to the Department of Land Transportation in Chiang Mai. So this is where you're gonna turn in the documents that uh, you were given from the Chiang Mai school or any driving school that you sign up for. I'm not sure if you have to make an appointment or if you could just walk in. But for me, right after I passed that test, I went straight to the Department of Land Transport. I 
tried to turn in my documents, but then they told me, okay, I need to come back in two days at 9 a.m. So basically I had to set an appointment so I couldn't get my driver's license. But yeah, so once you're able to turn in your documents, they'll call you up, they'll say, okay, sign, go to this window, go ahead and pay the fee. And once you pay the fee, they'll tell you to come inside, take a photo, and then about maybe like it just takes about two to three minutes to get your Thai license. So that was basically it. I got my Thai license and now it's like I don't have to worry about checkpoints. I'll go ahead and just put the total of how much I spent right here on the bottom right corner of the video. And hopefully you have an idea of how much you'll be spending for a class and how to get your Thai license. But there you have it. That's a step by step guide of how you can get a motorcycle license in Chiang Mai in year 2022. And if you have any questions or any concerns, go ahead and just leave a comment down below. Well, and then I'll try to my best to get back to you. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys in the next video. And so for those who are curious if like, you know, what would happen if you don't pass the test? Uh, don't worry. Like I said, you do have one try each day. Um, so if you don't uh, pass the first day, come back the second day, finish your drive test, and then you can take your written test again. Hopefully you pass. If you don't, you have to come back the next day and retake your test. My thoughts on, on the written test, you know, it is easy and somewhat difficult. The thing that's difficult is how it's being translated in English. A lot of these questions can be confusing. The test is not just based on motorcycle itself. It's also about cars as well. And your knowledge of cars such as uh, what does a battery do? Or what does a radiator do? What does a clutch do? And so for those who are familiar with driving manual transmission and all that stuff, or if you're not uh, too familiar with cars you might have a little bit of problem there and like i said it's just the english translation that is really confusing because there could be multiple answers to that question because of how it's being worded so that's one thing to keep in mind take your time don't second guess yourself and also remember that all these questions are based on thai laws or thai driving laws good luck and just make sure you do some practice tests google search like i said good luck and hope you get that license and we'll see you guys in the next video